Welcome to Fret Not, my name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the High Gain Series. Hey, we're back in the High Gain Series. Life back is good, in. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you don't know, we started a second series. Uh, we're not going to tell you too much about it, but hey, you can win free guitars on that series. So if you don't know anything about it, man, go check out our other video. Mm -hmm. uh, we put up the Jackson. Yep. Nice little guitar, entry-level guitar, but it works great. But what are you holding? This is a LaCello 7. I can't yes. remember the name of it specifically. It's just a LaCello 7. LaCello 7. So if you've watched this channel, excuse me, and you know us, we already have a LaCello over here. It's a six string. Um, it's got M6s in it, M6. Lundgren M6s. Mm -hmm. We did something different this time. We got in touch with LaCello and we said, hey man, we want a seven string, we want something dark, demented. Mm -hmm. In pickups, and this is what he came up with. Man, this thing is a monster. Um, you've been playing it. How does it play? Uh, plays amazing. So I feel like now we have the Ashwood, which is phenomenal guitar. Mm -hmm. We have the Ormsby. It's a little bit different because it's multi scale, mm -hmm. and as far as seven strings go. And then we have this. Yep. That when I first touched this, I'm like, man, I'm playing a tree. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like you're playing just. A massive tree branch. Yes, yeah, yeah it's, it's in a good way. In a good way, though. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna get into the specs real quick. Uh, if you don't know who Lacello guitars are, man, they're out of Canada. You really need to hit this guy up. He does amazing work. One of the mm. coolest people we've had to deal with. All of them are cool. Not saying nothing bad about anybody, but uh, Mario's just really cool, man. He uh, he get kind of gets things done for us. Uh, we have no promotion. Nobody sponsors us. Nobody gives us nothing. We're just like you. We're paying for everything straight out of pocket. Mm -hmm. But it's nice when the luthiers have the time and availability to kind of jump through hoops for you. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it makes you feel special. Yep. So this is number nine out of the 10 guitar series. We have another one coming. It had an issue in the paint booth. Mm -hmm. Um, not going to tell you nothing else, but it will be here really soon. We just had to do a little bit of correction on it to get it situated, and then it'll be here, and that will be the last in the high gain series, and then we'll be full time into the entry level. And who knows, maybe we'll do um, heavy metal violins next. Who knows, maybe. Anyway, all right, so let's give you some info on this. This is a 26 and a half inch scale, seven string. It is made out of black walnut body. Uh, I'm not really, if you know me, if you've been on this channel, I'm not a huge fan of wood colored guitars, man, but there's something about this one. There's something about that other LaCello, the way he did them with the mm -hmm. colors. Same with this. Um, this has got a three piece black walnut and I think Paduke yeah. neck on it. Turn around and let them see that red, man. That's so cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you get that cool logo too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that you logo. only get that you only get on the cellos. Um, it has a maple burl top. Remember how we was talking about the scrivacin? How the top was so skinny. Mm -hmm. It's just really thin on the top of there, which is fine. Yeah. But like this one is a lot thicker. Yeah. You can see how big the top is. He cut out. Mm -hmm. And he did something completely different for us on this one. This has Vietnamese mum ebony ebony fretboard. Nice. Yeah. It's Beautiful so there's a lot board. of exotics in this, wood-wise. Um, when I called him, I was like, man, you sent us M6s in the last one. Uh, we Nothing against Lundgren, because we got a couple sets. We got M6s and Black Heavens. Love both of them. So we're going to do something different. And he said, I got an idea. I'm going to call my boy over at, Ultra, over at uh, uh, what is the name of them? The pickups are ultraviolet. Uh, Aurora remember. Tone. Yeah. He's got a friend at Aurora Tone. So he called his buddy at Aurora Tone, and he kind of gave him a special request for this guitar. So we, after you hear the mix, then I'll tell you kind of what he was shooting for. Maybe you can hear that in the guitar. Mm -hmm. um, playability, man. You've been playing as much as I have. How's it played? Um, so to just compare it to the other sevens we have? Yeah, well, just compare and it to that. Just and, in, yeah, in yeah, general? In general, it... It does. It plays really well. Yeah. I love how fluid just everything feels about the neck right down to the bridge. And it still has that same neck joint that mm -hmm. it does on the other ones, the cutaways, uh, the curvatures in the body. Uh, it's a walnut body, so it should be really heavy. And it ain't light, but it's not too heavy to play. It's, it's, it's solid, and you hear that in the tone. And it's very... Uh, 
complimentary? Yes. So it's got 24 jumbo stainless steel frets. Obviously, the fret work on it uh, is amazing. We've been all up and down it. I've, I've tried everything in the world. There's, I, I couldn't find anything on the frets. Um, it has the same burl cap on the top up there that he did on this. I think just all in all, man, this guy does amazing work. Uh, I'm not going to tell you he's dirt cheap because he's not. Uh, but you might have the availability to get from him a little faster than maybe some luthiers that everybody in the world because he's he's not new, but he is in Canada and he has a huge following up there. But there's not a ton of people that I feel like that know who he is in America, and that's why I think it's so important you guys get to see these guitars. Yeah, because this guy really does good work. Man. Mm -hmm. So we've let you hear. We've told you about the guitar. We've let you in on the specs of it um mm -hmm. and i guess what we're going to do now is shut up and let you hear it in the mix we're going to come back and talk price point how we feel kind of go over four or five little uh things that we kind of look for in all guitars and yeah we're going to shut up and let you hear it Welcome back. You got a chance to hear it in the mix. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pretty dark, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's a uh, drill, just, it's dark. It's got an attitude, and it just, it re definitely reflects that in the tone. I love it. So, I didn't tell uh, Lucello, Mario, I didn't tell him anything to do on the pickups. I just said, if you can get me some Aurora tones, get me some Aurora tones. Because I've been wanting to try them. I, have, I don't have a guitar yet. I do now. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he didn't tell me this till after I got the guitar. And I was like, man, those pickups are really deep. They, they kind of sound like, and he said, they kind of sound like the uh, like a set of bare knuckles and Lundgrens mixed together, <laughs> don't you? And, he's, and I was like, well, yeah, it kind of has a bare knuckle tightness, mm -hmm. but then it has a, a bite of like a Lundgren. And uh, he goes, well, that's what we were shooting for. I had the guys at Aurora Tone kind of try to mix those two pickups. So that might be the best of both planets yeah, there, man. They sound really good. Now, I don't know 100% sure if you can call Aurora Tone and say, hey, I want those pickups. I'll just remake them for you. Yeah. But I, do, I know they made them for Mario specific for this guitar. Um, so he's in Canada. You get these guitars pretty fast if you're in the United States. If you're not, I really don't know what to tell you because I don't ship to other countries. I don't have a clue. Um, got this guitar in about five days, four days, all the way from Canada. It's not bad. Uh, across the United States. Um, price point on this is going to be somewhere between two and $2,500. This one was a little higher because it's specced out with such high-end woods. Mm -hmm. It's going to still fall in that $2,500 range, maybe a little less. Um, but man, does, it, does he do good work? Yeah, it, uh... The binding around it, it's it's wood, but it almost has this kind of mother of pearl look yep. to it. You know, yep. it's just beautiful. He does really good with woods. He's, he did super on our six string, man. That six mm -hmm. string's just got more stuff. It's got more eye candy to look at. Yeah. So if you don't know anything about this guy, you really might want to go check him out, man. Um, just give him a buzz. Hit him up on IG. Uh, hit him on Facebook. He's got a Facebook page. You can just go to his Facebook page and message him. 
Um, see what he's got laying around, what he's doing. Uh, he does phenomenal work. Yeah. So, uh, all in all, man, if I had to rate the guitar, the customer service that you see, I mean, it's hard to not just give it fives across the board. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. don't think if you had that guitar built from a big builder that would build you a custom, I don't see how you get that under four or five grand. Yeah. I just don't see it. Mm -hmm. They're going to charge you for the walnut. They're mm -hmm. going to charge you for the paduke. They're going to charge you, you know, for, for the, the name, for the name, <laughs> for the for the top. Mm -hmm. Those are roar tones. Yep. Uh, putting the cap on the top up there. Oh, and this has got all hip shot gear because I commissioned it, and if I commission it, it has hip shot gear. Yep. So uh, makes it really easy. For what we do, for what I do, the way he plays, the way I play, it just makes it stupid simple. So yeah. all in all, man, you, you got to give this guy just like two thumbs up. Um, if you, Like I said, I said this before. So nice. If you know me on this channel, you know I really don't care to buy wood tone guitars. Did enough of that in my younger life. Um, I like a little bit more, you know, I like gloss. I like, you know, polish. I like stuff that's really bright in color. Uh, but when he when he told me about this, I was like, man, that's amazing. I'll probably never get another piece of wood or woods mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So I just we just jumped on it. Um, your impression of the guitar? Uh, I I would be super satisfied if you know I, if I had never heard of Lucello mm -hmm. and I was hunting for kind of like a custom build guitar. Mm -hmm. I had expectations to wait a little bit. I would be pleased. I'd be super pleased. Yeah, he just he just does really good. And I know you guys probably get sick and tired of me telling you how good Lucello is, but you're not touching this. You're not playing it. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving it away. So at some point in time in your life, if you get a chance to put your hands on one of these, I think you'll know what we're talking about on this. Yeah. So this is episode nine. We're almost done with the high gain series hopefully before the next episode's up our other guitar will be here and you're gonna really love that i can't show it to you tonight um it's just not here yet but it, it turned out to be a masterpiece too um and then we're gonna continue i don't know exactly how but we will be reviewing guitars and you know maybe we always give guitars away so back to what i told you at the start we have a second series same channel uh, it's called our Entry Level Metal Series. If you want to win something, go watch that video. We've got six guitars right now. Every time we review one, uh, we're going... All you have to do is like the video. You have to subscribe to the channel. And you have to share the video. Mm -hmm. And when you do all three of those, you go into the comments and write the word done. If you do that, um, probably 10 days after we review, maybe 14 at the most... We'll give that guitar away and we'll do it off a random number generator on how many people comment that actually liked, shared, and subscribed and put the word done. Um, and we're just going to give those guitars away. And I can't stop buying guitars. It's probably an addiction. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that series will continue a lot longer than six as long as we find stuff that actually plays well. Yeah. <laughs> We're not just going to buy guitars to buy guitars because we're, we're giving them to you. Mm -hmm. We're going to ship them to you. It ain't going to cost you nothing. I made some uh, fret knot stickers with our logo. That's going to be on the box. You're getting the box the exact same way we got it. We're going to repackage it, put the logo on it, change, it, change the shipping stick, signature to wherever you are, and you're going to get a free guitar from fret knot. Yep. So episode nine is in the books. Uh, let us know, man. Comment what you think about it. How you know how this feels? This is a little. Uh, this is a slab of, of woods. Yeah, it's a lot of wood. It's but a lot man, of wood, does that but thing sound nice, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it. Like I said, the tone reflects, it and it's just amazing. All right, man. Well, thank you for watching. Please go check out our other deal to, so you can see the giveaways. Um, my name's Rob. My name's Colton. And we'll be back. Yep. For episode 10. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned.